Okay, what's good listener? It's your boy VJ. You're tuned into Babu Bros Radio Station, the number one source of entertainment. And this is the afternoon drive. You know, it's going to be a hot show. I'm going to be giving you some of the hottest gems uh, that you want to hear. You know, I've got a feeling that today is going to be a great show. We've, we've got a special guest in studio. And it's good to be back live on air. You know, I love the feeling. I missed this during the festive season. I was away. But then I'm very excited to be here today doing my first show in this new year 2016 i hope uh the new year is treating you well so far and then with me uh joining me later on um i have a special guest for you believe me you're gonna love this guy he just wrote a book titled is this love and the person i'm talking about is jonathan smith a very popular writer uh, i did human psychology at the university of bitwatersrand and he went on to do his PhD, which he just obtained recently uh, in Princeton University in the United States. The book is called Is This Love? You can find it at Bookmark, uh, Riboningo Bookstore, uh, Rufuno Bookshop Incorporated, and Papazela Community Library. The gentleman is going to be joining us on studio and we're going to be talking about the book. It, it only sells for 75 rands. Oh. That's a lovely price, man. It's, it's actually a reasonable price, and I, I don't see any reason why you should not get yourself this book. And it's going to be with me. We're going to be discussing this thing. The book is, is This Love. So on Twitter, if you want to join this discussion, you can use hashtag BBRS Afternoon Drive or hashtag Is This Love. want to hear your thoughts on the book and, and everything that we're going to be talking about on the show. So like immediately after this song, he's going to be joining me on studio. Excuse me, one number. Babu Bros Community Radio Station, Yim Tisela Shitsonga Musical Concert, Linga Tower, on a Royal Garden, it is 14th of February. Maliongena is 50 Rand Tena. Karosungula is 6 Nemadambu Grafikela, 6 Nemisho. It's ambulating at our corner. Denima Yangan. Joshi Riman, Nava Namandoda. It's a two message gang of a legend. Doctor Thomas Chauke. Red Boy Mchangan. Angalasa. Na Russian Army Studio. Tiko mela tiki trawe na eka computer ticket to be shop right amalam lele crossi. Ita sangana ko na. Don't go, but the call came It's time to deploy And they called his name Close to zero five hundred Her mind starts wandering Butterflies, tummy starts rumbling Queasy, uneasy, trying to hold it all together She doesn't want the last moments here to be unpleasant The car ride is quiet outside It's hard to fight it inside It's like she's dying That's when she started crying He tries to comfort her Baby, it's alright, liar That's what she screams louder from the thoughts of fright they pray it's okay, I promise that I'll be safe uh, That's what he tells her as he looks her in her face And as he walks away, looking in her eye Last kiss as they say I pray this is not our last goodbye
graduation Her nine weeks are done Hoorah, hoorah Now it's time to move on Leaving out of basic She just got her assignment She's headed off to war And it's hard for her to face it Or face her The daughter that she's leaving It's hard to come to terms with the truth No one believes it And even when it's staring in your face You don't receive it She hears mommy And it's just like her heart stopped beating Inhales heavy breathing Worried when she leaves She may not be back to see them Her baby girl And the family that she loves Trying to hold back the tears Right now it's tough She fights to stay strong Gotta hold on She says a prayer Just trying to find a calm Thoughts of eternity Then back to reality And then she tells her family I pray this is not our last goodbye Welcome back. You've tuned into Babu Bros Radio Station, your number one source of entertainment. Uh, that was Tedashi with Last Goodbye. Now, joining me now in studio is uh, Mr. Jonathan Smith. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Babu Bros Radio Station. No, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I'm very grateful that you're having mm-hmm. me on your show. Mm-hmm. So, you, you just recently got your PhD. Yes. Uh, congratulations on that, man. A job well done. Yeah, it was actually a tough thing to do. Mm. So it, I, I actually had to work hard to achieve that. So yeah, it, it was actually a long process. It mm. wasn't that easy, but but it all worked out quite well. And and you went to uh, Princeton University yes. in the United States. Tell us about uh, your stay in America and being away from South Africa for quite a long period of time. How was it uh, living in the United States? You know, when actually they say that there's no place like home, mm. they really mm. mean it. Because that's when I realized when I was that side. Because mm. first, I had to acclimatize to the environment. Mm. We don't wake up the same way we wake up when we're that side and this side. Mm. So mm. I had to acclimatize to the situation, know how to speak with the people. Because we don't speak the same language mm-hmm. when we this side in South mm-hmm. Africa. And when we USA, mm. we speak different language. It might be English, but then I had to know the people, yeah, mm-hmm. associate with the people, socialize with them, have a friendly talk with them. So um, that was the situation. A lot of things have been happening in your life. You, you just recently got married as well, uh, and also have to congratulate you for that. No, but but you know, ju- just tell us about what has been happening recently because there's a lot of achievements, a lot of changes, a lot of things that you are planning to do, a lot of things that you have accomplished already. How was the pressure? I mean, like recently in your years, you have done a lot of things. You know, when when I, when I started this whole situation, mm-hmm. to be honest with you, I actually never thought I was gonna write a book or mm-hmm. anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, from what I've studied, I actually started here in South Africa. Mm-hmm. I went to vets and then I did uh, human psychology and all that. Mm-hmm. And out of the blue, I actually got the scholarship mm-hmm. to go and then study abroad in mm-hmm. Princeton University in USA. Mm-hmm. So it 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 was uh, it wasn't that easy. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I was actually able. To, to, to contain that pressure mm-hmm. to be yeah to contain that pressure and and, 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 and you know. getting married while busy with your PhD I mean how, how do you maintain a balance between your relationship and your academics well to be honest with that I actually mm-hmm. felt like I could write a schedule for it you know mm-hmm. write a schedule mm-hmm. this is marriage time mm-hmm. this is study time mm-hmm. to get my PhD mm-hmm. it, it, that, that was a tough one from all the challenges that I've faced in mm-hmm. my life in my achievements that was the most challenging one because you know that in relationships you have issues yes. and on the other side you're looking at what you're studying mm-hmm. or whether you're working or something like that. so it was a tough one but i'm very grateful that i got the most beautiful most loving wife mm-hmm. she was supporting me she understood that i had to have my to have my time to concentrate on my mm-hmm. phd Oh wow, wow, that's that's really nice. Now tell us about the book. Is this love? It's it's an, it's actually an interesting book. I, I I went through it and I have a copy myself. I want I want you to take us through the content of the book and tell us why the name is this love. Okay, I'm going to start with the the name mm-hmm. is this love. I've always had this question in my life. Given the point of what I've experienced within the relationships and, 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 and current situations and all that, mm-hmm. what I've realized is that a lot of people get into relationship with into mm-hmm. relationships without knowing what is it that they want, mm-hmm. without like basic principles yes. in the whole relationship mm-hmm. and all that. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people have expectations mm-hmm. from guys, from men, and we don't live up to that standard. Mm-hmm. So I've realized that 
people are doing things that differ from what we talk about when we consider love. love. That's why I mm-hmm. came up with the mm-hmm. name, Is This Love? So actually, uh, according to your observation and your studies, what we are doing recently has deviated from the true love that, that you actually explained That's in my the point book. exactly. That's why mm-hmm. the contents in the book, loyalty, um, mm-hmm. trust issues, and then commitment issues, we, 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 we're failing to mm-hmm. live up to that situation of commitment, yes. that 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 situation of uh, uh, mm-hmm. loyalty and then and, and trusting each other, mm-hmm. trusting a person is the most hardest thing to do. Mm. And and when we talk about the the concepts of uh, you know relationship goals, uh, insecurities, a lot of people have insecurities. Mm-hmm. We're always going to have insecurities. Mm-hmm. So that's why I had to write this book from what I. Okay, and, and, and you, you just mentioned relationship goals because when I was going through the book, I yeah. found that as an interesting subject, you know, because you actually talk about how relationship goals can affect um, the strength of the relationship between two people. Now, what's, what's actually the concept of relationship goals? What's in there that, that it affects, it even affects the way we live with each other as lovers? You know, when we look at the concept of relationship goals, mm-hmm. a lot of people misunderstand what relationship goals are. Mm-hmm. This whole point of relationship goals has been one-sided. It's mm. actually biased. Mm. It was supporting and benefiting women only. Okay. Guys get into relationship hoping for something better. Mm-hmm. But then at the end of the day, mm. guys mm. are left outstanding. They, 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 they end up wasting their time for no good reason to only realize that the guy really loved the girl Mm -hmm. but then because she has her own relationship goals he doesn't even know about it how is he gonna know Mm -hmm. then he's left outstanding he's dumped he doesn't know what happened imagine if he was preparing to see one amiria and then out of the blue she just come out and she say this is not working because because of her relationship goals goals, which he did not have any clue about Mm -hmm. it but but then how do you because I'm I'm thinking for I'm like I'm, I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of a female right yeah. now and with my relationship goals and everything how do you find the perfect guy for you yes. because I mean if they draw out their relationship goals I think that's where they get to see I mean when when you you just started dating that's where they, they begin to see that this guy is doing exactly what I want and he could be the right you know on that on that situation is the same thing as every woman having an ideal man mm-hmm. why is there an ideal man mm-hmm. why why do we have an ideal man for her to set up relationship goals it messes up the chances of her having a good life uh, with, with with a guy who's probably gonna love her and all that mm-hmm. so this whole uh concept relationship mm-hmm. goals has been a problem to every and single male because mm. uh, recently actually uh I was having an interview with a few guys. Mm-hmm. I had a, an interview with up to 20 guys. Mm-hmm. About 99% of the whole situation, mm-hmm. a lot of guys have been against this whole relationship, relationship. Whole situation. Because mm-hmm. they, they, they had tough experience. Yes. You know, girls mm-hmm. leaving them because of saying that you do not live up to my standard. You do mm-hmm. not live up to my expectations. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying, why don't they know through communication? What is communication but for? You, you, you'll agree with me. There are certain things that women would love us to know automatically. They just cannot sit down with us and explain, this is what I want you to do. This is this how I want you but to hold least, my hand when we're walking least. in public. But then these are things that, you know, they cannot demand them of us. Because if they actually do that, we'll be doing them. No, wait, at, we least, know that they actually at least if mm-hmm. they can give us signals, mm-hmm. a bit of action that, okay, this is what they expect from us mm-hmm. i know that you cannot actually say any like everything about the relationship mm-hmm. directly because in the relationship there's to be surprises yeah. you cannot fully know the person but at least give that person a, a bit of signal to tell him that as a man mm-hmm. you're supposed to do this mm-hmm. every man know that you you have to take your girl out maybe once yeah. twice in a month mm-hmm. so when they do that when they communicate with us that this is the problem that they're having in a relationship mm-hmm. it gives us a basic understanding that okay this is what she wants this oh. is what she need and i'll live up to that situation and, and when you did your research it's interesting to find that it's actually a lot of guys who are against uh, relationship goals um have you ever came across a guy 
Where's relationship goals? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> for you to even ask me, well, that's funny because um, honestly, I tried as much as possible mm. to, you know, ask a lot of guys yeah. if they came up with it, if they even ever thought about it. Mm-hmm. And there's no guy who told me, there's no male who told me that the thought of, you know, relationship goals mm-hmm. crossed his mind. Mm. It, it because you know, I I'm, I'm beginning to think that females will now think that we are against relationship as an excuse of of taking the pressure, you know, of doing everything that they they expect from us because we do not have relationship goals ourselves. So how do we actually get women to a point where they become like us? Because I think women are not as emotionally strong as ourselves. That no, is why no. they set out goals. How how do we get to that point where there is a balance? We we don't have relationship goals at all. We just come together love each other live happily ever after you know the, the, the most important thing right now mm-hmm. is that if if we if if it's a relationship issue mm. it's about partners mm-hmm. we cannot say a relationship goals and then it involves one person why mm. can't the female talk with the with the male to say that okay since this is our relationship this is what we want tell me what you want then that way we get to know that okay they're on the same page because mm-hmm. if she wants something from the guy mm-hmm. he also wants something uh, you know with expectations mm-hmm. and all that that he expected to be like this she mm-hmm. expect him to be like this but if they never talk about it mm-hmm. the relationship is doomed to fail that's always so it's better that they talk sit down and talk about it that okay this is what this is what i want from the relationship this is what i want from this and this mm-hmm. that way the male and the female they all have the same precise point of understanding mm-hmm. in the basic principles of being in a relationship you know, I, I think it will now be interesting to, to bring in some uh, listeners and, and actually hear from them. I would love to hear from the females why why they set up relationship goals to actually explain to us why they also keep that a secret. So I'm going to be taking your emails. My email is vj.bavu at bavubrosradiostation.com and I'm also going to be reading out the tweets. You can use hashtag BBRS Afternoon Drive. Um, hashtag is this love and, and I'm going to be reading your tweets after now because right now I think this is an interesting topic and we, we need to hear from the females uh, I, I wish I so wish that we had a female in studio with us but we don't so let us actually hear from you you will be sending us your emails if you want to give us a call number is 073-969-0162 I, wanna, I want you to talk to uh, Mr. Smith and, and actually get to explain to him why you set up relationship goals and, and we actually get to help each other. Um, let me leave you with uh, K. Michelle and after that we'll be taking your calls, emails and tweets. Long distance and away oh what could be even when you're, you're not with me She's having a child I should have carried I'll be damned if y'all get married How's it baby, how you adjusting? Ain't gon' work, you got problems trusting Let me stop, I'm supposed to be focused But these nights are the coldest Will you ever let her go? I don't know Will I ever be first? I hope But I ain't just sitting around Can't wait for someone to see my way Damn, I can't compete with a baby Is there any room left? But no drug can take me where you can No, I just want you where I am One thousand of them just want one you Drowning in all of my excuses Heart is feeling useless, probably should've used it less Will you ever let her go? I don't know Will I ever be first? I hope But I can just sit around Can't wait for someone to see my work Damn, I can't compete with a baby
Welcome back. Uh, that was K. Michelle. Maybe I should call. Um, I actually have some emails that I want to read out before I actually take your calls. I have Asanda from Four Ways, and she begins her email by quoting Kofi Ain, and she says, "To live is to choose, but to choose well. You must know who you are and what you stand for." Okay. Where you want to go and why you want to get there. So she she further goes on to say, as females, we have to choose what we want, and for us to know that we have got what we want, it has to meet our requirements. <laughs> This is actually very interesting. Asanda is saying that they actually have to choose for themselves, and they actually have to have a picture of what they want. But when when we come to that situation, it's rather controversial in the point that um, it's one sided. Mm -hmm. Why is it that the female are the one who get to choose? We mm -hmm. male, in other words, we can choose. I think we both choose because um, usually nine times out of ten, it's it's a male who will approach a female, exactly. and, and that's that's that's, that's your the choosing. That's when that's where you choose, and she actually has to assess you as well, and then and then like put a pin on there to say this is the right guy for me. But then for her to accept you, it means she chose you. Mm -hmm. And then she has to align those relationship goals mm -hmm. to know for her to know where she stands. What about the guy knowing where he stands? Now in the okay, I get you because you are talking now when we are in the relationship. So it's, yeah. what I'm what I'm trying to say is we it shouldn't be one side. Mm -hmm. The guy also has to know where he stands. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be only uh, the female because mm -hmm. then the, then that that wouldn't be fair in a way. Mm -hmm. I also have to know how I how, how where I stand, how she really feels exactly. about me. Exactly, I, I get your so. point. Uh, we have Mpo from Sibasa. She says. It actually favors men that we do not explain our relationship goals to them because if we do they will do it out of pressure and not out of love and if they don't do it after we have explained to them then we have a problem <laughs> <laughs> Now that's funny how does it favor men because no. she, she's she's actually saying that it the fact that they do not tell us Uh, their relationship goals it favors us because if they tell us we now do it out of pressure and not out of love if they don't tell us mm -hmm. we don't live up to their standard to only realize that sometimes say, some, yeah mm -hmm. sometimes say mm -hmm. say that i really really love someone mm -hmm. there's this actually girl that i love so much mm -hmm. uh, i find it hard to express my feelings and emotions mm -hmm. and all that so if she doesn't tell me her relationship goals I don't know what I'm living up to. Mm -hmm. Then I don't know what's in the relationship. In no way it benefits. You know, like I, I'm interested in the last part of this email because she says that if they happen to explain these things to us and we ignore them, that's where we begin to fight. And think of it that way: a woman explains to you their relationship goals and, and certain things them. that you do not do. What do you do in that situation? Because that way, that's where the fight will break up. Okay. That's why I'm saying communication. Mm -hmm. Communication. They like whenever you need relationship, mm -hmm. talk about it. Then you know where you stand. You know what the guy wants as a female. So the, Then guy the male know what the mm -hmm. lady wants mm -hmm. as a as a male. Mm -hmm. Then that way everything is balanced. Mm -hmm. It it benefits each so, and everyone. So what you're saying is that uh the the guy should should also put their view if they are not comfortable with something in that list exactly. they should, they should open the up and talk about it and exactly like that's it. the point of communication um an email an email from kanisa in malamulele she says <laughs> i think men should also have their own relationship goals <laughs> full stop <laughs> <laughs> Now, I think we have a solution here. I think we have a proper solution because she's saying that we should stop arguing about these things and just write up our relationship goals as well. No, no, that that doesn't make sense at all. Mm -hmm. How do you expect a man to have relationship goals? Mm -hmm. if, if 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 the female and the man have relationship goals, they definitely not gonna write the same thing. It's mm -hmm. gonna be like a competition. So mm -hmm. so what? We, we we I have relationship goals. She has relationship <laughs> goals. Then what? We interchange the the papers and what she wrote and all that. And I read them. She reads them. She doesn't like it, and I don't like it. Actually, she doesn't like it. I like them. What's gonna happen? Mm. It's just gonna leave me because of that. So it's, yeah, it's yeah, biased. Yeah. That that's the worst thing. Really we biased. we we have a caller on the line, and I want to take this oh. caller. Hello, caller. Oh. Hello. Hello, Vijay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 